Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com. I'm here at a new home construction site. It's actually my daughter's home, and I'm doing the plumbing, and I want to talk a little bit about roughing in a toilet and some things that you need to think about. Let's go take a look. Okay, here I am up in the master bathroom area. Looks kind of complex, but this little room here, this is going to be a separate little room for the toilet. It's about three feet wide, six feet long. And you can see a really nice two by six wall here. That is perfect. That's really what you want to have behind a toilet if you can make it work out. But let me show you what's going on down here. This house was framed with really ingenious floor trusses. It allows you to span great distances, in this case 28 feet, with no bearing walls. Isn't that cool? So these two black lines in between the arrows that is the width of the floor truss. It's three and a half inches wide, okay? And you can see I drew two black lines. Well, this circle right here with the dashed lines, that's about where I've got it off center. It needs to be shifted to the right. I couldn't see through the toilet flange. But anyway, this is where a normal toilet rough-in would go. But you could see you would have to cut into about half of the top of the truss. Well, that's absolutely not allowed. You cannot notch, cut, or do anything with floor trusses. So, even if I was to use a different toilet rough-in, and get this, toilets come in both 10, 12, and some come with 14-inch rough-ins. And what that means is, you're talking about the distance from the finished wall. In other words, this wall here will have half-inch drywall on it. And then you have to measure out to where the center, you know, of the, you know, of the, of the hole would be. And in, in this case, the most common toilet is 12 and a half inches. So you can see a 12 and a half inch toilet's not going to work. And even a 14 inch toilet wouldn't work. It would just barely work because the distance from here to here is about an inch and three quarters. So you would just barely make it. Okay, is there another option? Now here's the other problem, is that with 14 inch toilets, there aren't a lot of them. And so the toilet you want may not be available with a 14 inch rough-in. So what can you do? Well, look at this. So, in our case, because this room is so long, six feet, we're able to build an extra two by four wall right here. In other words, we're going to build another wall right here that's two by four, you know, with a two by four. Let's put one in. So, there's going to be a wall right in front of the two by six wall. And the distance from the face of that stud to the center line of this hole right here is 12 and a half inches. And now my daughter has a huge variety. She can pick whatever toilet she wants. It's going to work just fine. So sometimes you don't have to have a three and a half inch wall. You might just have to pad the wall out an inch or two to make it work so that you can have a 12 inch rough toilet. So just keep that in mind when you're planning and just understand that you can always still use a 12 inch rough toilet as long as you have enough room to get on the other side of a floor joist or in our case these big giant floor trusses. I'll bet you didn't know that about toilets did you? I'll bet you didn't know that you could get a 10, 12, and 14 inch toilet. But here's the best part. Sometimes you might have enough room just like I showed you to kind of pad the wall out to make a 12 inch toilet work because remember you have the most options and the widest variety of toilets if you go with a 12-inch rough-in. I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com and Master Plumber. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.